Cuddles the Comfort Doll was created to help people with their problems. Now he's the problem. Buttons the Bear lost a lucrative corporate sponsorship for reasons of moral turpitude. Bill the Ventriloquist Dummy has had 58 partners die in unlikely accidents. Rocco the Dog was a sidekick in a children's TV show until one day he snapped. Prison didn't help. And now in one last desperate stab at rehabilitation, they've been placed in a halfway house. A home for puppets who kill. <laughs> what you reading, Rocco? Jack Kerouac. Oh yeah? Any pictures? Just word pictures, man. Jack Kerouac was so cool. He rejected middle-class bullshit. He played by his own rules. Oh, what did he play? Red Rover? No, you idiot. He lived outside of society. Wow, Rocco. I admire you. You're a real rebel, just like Jack Nicholson in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. You're damn right I am. Of course, they removed his brain later, but uh, for a while, he really had something going there. <laughs> Hey guys, guess what? There's a job fair down at the shopping mall. Wow, stop the presses. <laughs> a job fair? Sounds like fun, Dan. Are there job rides? No, no, a, a, a job fair is where there's thousands of careers for you to choose from. And look where I found. Two guys going to a costume party? No, two guys <laughs> from the Canadian military. That's right, fellas. We're on a special recruitment drive. Yes, it's not like we're trolling disadvantaged neighborhoods looking for poor people to sign up as cannon fodder. So what do you say, guys? There's no life like it. Sorry, but I have a medical exemption. Medical exemption? Yeah. I'm allergic to Imperialist lap dogs. If I'm around them, I break out into fuck yous. Come on, Buttons, let's get out of here. Right, Rocco! Well, oh. how about you, Bill? Well, not that gutting someone on the end of a bayonet doesn't have its own rewards, but, uh... I like to set my own hours. Well, I suppose that just leaves cuddles. <gasps> How about you, young fella? You care to learn more about the military? Wow, I, are you really soldiers? Yes, I am, son. The name's Colonel Lee. This is my associate, Colonel Grant. Glad to know you. Oh, have you ever been in a battle, in a trench, rats nipping at your face, waiting for the final assault? No, the... Biggest battle I've had is with the bottle. And the only front I've ever been to is the front of a line for another piece of pie at the officer's mess. <laughs> <laughs> pie. How about it, Cuddles? Care to join the fun in the army? Hmm. Don't decide now. Why not take advantage of our special get acquainted offer? Get acquainted offer? We pay you $100 to assess whether you're man enough for the army. What do you think, Dan? Well, I don't see any harm in it. Have fun, huh? Welcome to the military, son. Hey, yeah. Well, Cuddles, now that you're in the military, guess what we're going to do? Is it a hazing ritual? Because I warn you right now, I'm allergic to drinking my own urine. Not exactly. Do you know what brainwashing is? <gasps> what a great idea. Is that where I get a clean brain? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. You get a clean brain. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, you will. Wait, what? What, what? what are you doing to me? Nothing much, just breaking down your will to resist. There's no life like it, huh, Cuddles? I thought you said this was a get acquainted session. Oh, it is. Get acquainted with hell. Cuddles, take a look at the Jack of Diamonds. Huh? This will be your trigger card. Huh? Hey guys, nice new toaster oven in the kitchen. Where'd that come from? Same place as the new TV and the new microwave. From Rocco. Rocco? Yep. You can't afford a new TV. Of course I can't. This is my way of fucking the system, man. Oh yeah, and, and how are you doing that, Jack Kerouac? Simple. I buy stuff, keep it for a few days, and then return it for a full refund. Yep, never have to pay for it. Piece of cake, Dan. We don't work for the system. 
the system works for us. Society is built on trust and honesty. You can't just build the system for your own personal... Wow, will you look at that detail? Yep, good picture quality, huh? Ladies and gentlemen, you are witnessing history in the making. To demonstrate the Canadian military's mind control techniques, we've selected a dumbass schmuck at random from our recruitment program. We present to you the military's new secret weapon. <laughs> you laugh. Just watch this. Hello, Cuddles. Hello. Just look at this card for me, Cuddles. Time to go to work, Cuddles. Bring in the Leviathan. Demonstration is over. Ladies and gentlemen, our mind control techniques have created an army of zombie supermen that we can call on at any time to serve Canada. Cuddles, take a look at this card. Uh, uh, what, what, what happened? Nothing. Just relax, Cuddles. We'll send him back to society and call on him again when we need him. He won't remember any of this. We've programmed a completely false set of memories into him. In fact, he'll remember this as a garden party. Ah. Hey, Buttons, do you want your triple latte non-fat or regular? Uh, make it a non-fat. Say, how about a panini for my new panini maker? They're panini-licious. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Oh, just drizzling extra virgin olive oil on this bruschetta, Dan. It's what Jack Kerouac would have done. <laughs> This has nothing to do with Jack Kerouac. It has everything to do with you getting free stuff from the department store. What are you going <laughs> to do about it? Yeah, make us take it back? Bum boy of the system. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was young and stupid once myself. They're going to come down on you, and they're going to come down hard. Bring it on, Dan. Bring it on! Yeah! <laughs> so, Cuddles, how was your time with the military yesterday? Great, Dan. We did some drills and polished boots, and then I attended a garden party. A garden party? Where I have a vague and disturbing memory of wrestling a large, sweaty man to the ground. That's a good one. <laughs> well, I've got some good news. While you were away, I ran your specs for the computer, and guess what kind of career it said was ideal for you? Uh, a pirate? Yeah, no, a, a bill collector. But. I don't know anything about being a bill collector. Uh, uh, remember our motto. You can't say you don't like something until you give it a try. I don't seem to recall a motto. Remember how you said you thought you didn't like broccoli? I'm allergic to broccoli. It made me swell up. I needed a needle to the heart. Yes, but you didn't know that for sure until you gave it the old college try. <sighs> Um, uh, is this the Happy Bill Collection Agency? Depends. Who's asking? I don't get it. What's happy about this place? I am. I'm happy when I bust the skulls of fucking <gasps> deadbeats. Now, who the hell are you? I'm your new bill collector. First off, you're not a bill collector. You're a warrior. Uh-huh. And this is a war. A war against assholes. Right. This guy's linked with his cell phone payments. You go and collect. Oh, I'll go ask him for the money. And rip his fucking heart out. Well, Mr. Ramoli, your problem is solved. Amazing. You got the dough out of that cheap bastard. No, I paid his phone bill for it. You what? Well, he told me he was broke and he wept in my arms. I was so moved, I paid his bill. End of problem. Listen, you idiot. Your job is to collect shit from people. I feel you are displeased with me. I, I, I thought you'd be happy. You're hopeless. Now hit the road and stop wasting my time. But... 
I'll give you ten seconds to scram. Give me your toughest case. Are you deaf? I said I'm giving you ten seconds to... I said, give me your toughest case before I got you like a turbot. There's a car needs to be repossessed in the East End. Consider it done. Cuddles, how was your first day at the collection agency? I squeezed the life out of a man because he was two weeks behind his payment on a waffle iron. Well, nothing beats the satisfaction of a job well done. People sicken me with their unpaid blenders and juicers. Don't you see? They had to die. Yeah, hello? Oh, yes, he's here. It's for you. Hello? Hello, Cuddles. It's time to play cards. Maybe with the Jack of Diamonds? Yes, of course. Ah. <laughs> you are now completely under my control. If you say so. We need you to get something for us right away. It's a matter of absolute national priority. What is it you need? And I'll do my best. Good. Now write this down and come immediately. Your country ah. needs you. <gasps> Gosh. I came as soon as I could. Cuddles, have you completed your mission? I sure did. There's your beer. And I picked up your dry cleaning. You've served your country well, Cuddles. In fact, I'm thinking of recommending you for a citation. Really? Wow. Thank you, Cuddles. We'll call you when we have another matter of severe national importance. Like when we need hockey tickets or to have our cars washed. Oh, one more thing. Do I get paid for running these errands, or is that still on the first hundred bucks? Forget the money. Look at the card. You were never here. I was never here. There was that memo from the PM. Don't use zombies for beer runs. Oh, Mr. By the Book. Ooh, don't report me to the PM. Relax. Hand me a cool one. You're right. What was I thinking of? Man, this is the life. Yeah, pizza sure tastes better from a new toaster oven. Man, it's not just the taste of pizzas. It's the taste of fucking people around. Yeah. <laughs> Rocco, I just had a very disturbing call from Visa. Apparently, someone has been using my credit card to make purchases. That's right, Dan. I used your Visa card to buy all this stuff. You what? Yeah. You know, the whole plan seemed a little iffy to me. So I figured it was safest to use your card. Looks like you're on the hook now, Dan. You <laughs> bastard. Well, I'm helping you, Dan. Liberating you from the system. Have fun sticking it to the man, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna be forced to deal with you very harshly on this one, Rocco. I will do your bidding. Do you wish to have Rocco dealt with? What the fuck? I'm here to dispatch your enemies. You and what army? Me and the Canadian army. I can fight my own battles, thank you very much, Cuddles. Oh, and how many times have I told you to empty your pockets before you put your clothes in the hamper? Look, look what I found in your jumper. Uh, and you got a call from the collection agency. They want you to go down there right away. Uh, I've got another job for you, Cuddles. Yet another asshole who needs to be taught a lesson. Well, I always say that an asshole is just a loving person who needs a little help. Hmm. You don't seem as tough as you did the last time you were here. Tell me your bidding. Here's the deadbeat. Been charging expensive appliances and screwing us around. Name's Dan Barlow. What would you like done to him? Break every bone in his fucking body. Consider it done. Wanna go grab a... Oh, what do you got there? Drawing up a plan for the zombies. What do you mean? Just this. What the hell are we screwing around for having them do our beer runs? What? We get the zombies to rob banks. We'll get rich. Zombies have no memory of what they've done. But that's wrong. 
isn't it? So is testing nerve agent on puppies. We do that, don't we? You know we do. All right, you slick bastard, you talk me into it. Just one thing, though. What happens if we should, say, have a national emergency and the zombies are needed? Oh, come on, this is Canada. When has that happened? Yes? My God. Yes, thank you. Turn on the TV. We have a situation. Hey, what gives? The free ride is over. This TV set is going back to the store. Enough is enough. Oh, can't it wait until Canadian Idol is over? Well, Canadian Idol is on? Yeah, it's the final. Well, I guess a few minutes wouldn't hurt. America has invaded Canada. We now go live to this American news conference. My fellow Americans, look at these photos. Greedy Canadians splashing in fountains, playing in water parks. Look at their smug faces. You can almost hear them saying, screw you, America. Now, look at these photos of innocent American children crying because greedy Canada has all the water. And what are these kids saying? They're saying, why? Why are you so mean, Canada? And I think further, what they're saying is, please, Mr. Military Man, please go and teach those greedy Canadians a lesson they'll never forget. We are invading Canada to liberate that water for the world. And we will sell it to the world at a fair price. Thank you. This is bullshit. I'll say. They preempted Canadian Idol for this crap. Medium, all dressed. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Bad news. American soldiers are streaming into Canada, overrunning our defenses, laying waste to our armies, acting with impunity. That is so unfair. Everyone in their army has their own gun. They're in British Columbia, headed to the Kootenays. In Sault Ste. Marie, rampaging into northern Ontario. <sighs> Horrible. No, no, you're thinking of Sudbury. Most of northern Ontario is really quite nice. I wasn't talking about that. I was going to use the zombies to rob banks, goddammit. Now I have to use them to save the country. About this zombie thing, it appears that some of them have gone AWOL. AWOL? Yes, AWOL. They're no longer responding to commands. I believe it was I who pointed out the idiocy of triggering them with playing cards, but la 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 la, someone wasn't listening. Someone thought he knew better. Now is not the time for recriminations. We've got to round them up. One of them has taken over an intersection in downtown Hamilton. Another one is in a standoff with police, and another one is a vicious bill collector, the one known as Cuddles. Hello. Mr. Barlow, remember we met you at that career day? We gave you a hundred bucks to get rid of Cuddles? I'm sorry, it's too late. The money's already spent. I don't know, Mr. Barlow. The good news is you get to keep the money, the bad news is Cuddles has been brainwashed and turned into a mindless zombie killing machine. Uh -huh. From our quick investigation, it seems a collection agency has unwittingly reprogrammed him, and now he's dead set on killing you. What? This is madness. I, I, how could you let such a thing happen? I'm sorry, I can't tell you that. National security. What, what am I supposed to do? Well, we're rushing to you with a release form that acknowledges that we told you and uh, absolves us of all legal responsibility. What if he tries to kill me? Ah, that's easy. Just mention the playing card. Uh, we programmed a playing card that uh, triggers him in and out of trance. The playing card is the jack... The, pl the playing card... Mr. Barlow? Mr. Barlow? Hello? <laughs> oh, Carlos. I'm glad to see you. You won't be glad when you find out why I'm here. No, I, I, I know why you're That was the military. Uh, they've got a job for you. Nice try, Dan, but I already have a job. Punishing deadbeats. Yes, but what, wouldn't you, you like a different job? I mean, that might be more fun. Oh, believe me, Dan, this job is fun. Well, it won't be so much fun once you see this. Is that supposed to mean something to me? Maybe not, but, no, but this. Or, or, or this. Or this? Not only will you soon be dead, you'll soon be dead in a messy house with cards all over the floor. 
You've been making an ass out of all the department stores in town, Dan. It's time for us to take it out of your ass. Mr. Barlow, that was a close one. Is he dead? Yes. Uh, no. Wait. I would appear to have brought the dart gun by mistake. Damn, I hate it when I do that. So he'll be okay? Oh, yes. All's well that ends without a court-martial. That's it. It's all you have to say for yourself. Is no apology? We'll send someone around to deprogram him. No charge. There is one other thing. To be absolutely safe, you must never see the Jack of Diamonds again. You may screw up your poker night, but sorry. The invasion of Canada is off. The American government claims it was the result of a rogue general operating outside his authority. The U.S. has issued Canada a formal apology and said, no hard feelings. Canada has responded by a mass sell-off of water from the Great Lakes. In the words of the environment minister, you don't have to hit me over the head with a brick. I can take a hint. I'm sorry I tried to kill you, Dan. No offense, of course. No offense taken. I'm just glad to have the real cuddles back now that they've deprogrammed you. Yeah. In fact, it was going so well, I skipped the last few sessions. Now, let's check in with our weatherman, Jack O'Diamond. He calling you. I didn't know I was on. Uh, okay. We don't have a TV. You're right. Come on, there's one of classies. That's a prank! Puppet time! <laughs> 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 